today we are going to learn a bit about uh, Microsoft and I'm just going to introduce the features of uh, Microsoft PowerPoint. So our topic today is going to be on PowerPoint and uh, mostly we are going to cover this for lesson number one is going to cover the features of PowerPoint. Now we begin with what we call the uh, title bar. Title bar is this bar that is on top of your PowerPoint presentation or PowerPoint application that is open. And normally you, do, you will have the name or the title of, of, of the presentation and it will be presentation one, two. By default, PowerPoint assigns a name for, 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 for that application that is open or actually assigns a name for the presentation and it gives it presentation one, presentation two, and so on and so forth. Now, it is upon you as a user of PowerPoint to provide uh, the, 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 the to, to provide an appropriate name. Say, for example, you be as a teacher, as a, as a teacher and educator, you are teaching biology lesson uh, 25 whatever that lesson is you give it an appropriate name so that every time that you are reusing your powerpoint a presentation you know that it is specifically that uh, lesson that you want so say for example biology lesson 25 or it could be mitosis meiosis whatever it is so give it an appropriate name now we are saying the title bar contains the name of the presentation and we are saying also that by default it is presentation one or presentation to say for example you saved one as presentation one so the next one that you open by default will be assigned a number presentation two and so on and so forth so that's the title bar and also the title bar is still contains the name of the application that is in use the name of the application that is in use in at this time at this point in time is microsoft powerpoint now the next feature of Microsoft PowerPoint is this part that I'm pointing at. This part that I'm pointing at is, is called the tabs. And you can see home tab, you can see insert, you can see design, you can see transitions, animation, slideshow, review, view, and add-ins. Those are tabs. Now tabs contain ribbons. Each tab has a ribbon. Underneath each tab, say for example you have opened the home tab. Home tab would have a ribbon. A ribbon is a section of Microsoft PowerPoint that runs that runs from left to right, uh, or yeah, left to right, and it contains sections called groups. And within these groups, they are commands or instructions. So you will see instructions instructions on each section of the ribbon. Now this section is called the clipboard group and this section as you can see here is the slide group, this section is called the font group, this section is called the paragraph group, this section is called the growing group. Each group contains specific commands. As you can see the clip clipboard group contains paste, cut, copy, format painter. When you go to slides group it contains new slide layout reset section. Now the the related commands reside within a group so you can see that in these slides is contains related commands or related instructions that you can give to your microsoft powerpoint now the next part is this nav slide navigation you can call it slide na navigation panel uh, and here it will list for you all the slides that are active or all the slides that are open in this case by default it is the slide number one and number one slide is the title slide now if you want to add a new slide you click to the new slide command or new slide instruction and just click there and another slide is created now this second slide is called a, a, a content slide it is a called a content slide and you, when you click to this layout you can see that the title and content the title section is this section where you put the title of the content that you want to to demonstrate or to show and then this is the content section so by default you have a layout called title and content uh, a, a, a slide this by default every time you open a new slide in microsoft powerpoint you have your uh, title and content slide this is by default microsoft powerpoint assigns that for you automatically 